So let's get started on these brows. As you can see, my brows are very skimpy. Let me move in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, my brows are very thin and very sort of skimpy. So in order to, you know, create the fabulous brows that you see in my video and that I um, get compliments on almost on a daily basis, guys, like for real, my routine is very, very simple. Anyone can do this. It's extremely inexpensive. And all you need are three products, you guys. Three simple products. Number one, of course, is the Maybelline Expert Eyes Twin Eye Pencils. I have featured these on um, my favorites on several occasions. And this is what I use to create my brows, essentially. Next, and this is probably a bit different from what you've seen in other videos what I use to sort of sculpt them out. Q-tips, you guys, this is the secret. This is my secret for getting the shape and everything. And I'm gonna show you in a moment. Q-tips and a concealer. The one I prefer is the Maybelline Fit Me. There's something about this that's just perfect for brows. I've got other concealers um, I've tried, but there's, this one works the best for me. So this is, if you are looking for a concealer for your brows, I highly recommend the Maybelline Fit Me. So let's get started, guys, on these brows. Um, what you will need also is a pencil sharpener. Make sure you have a pencil sharpener because you want your pencil sharp to create your shape. I try to do it just like I do it normally. Okay, I like to go under. Let me move it. So I keep, I keep create a line in the top and at the bottom with the pencil, gentle strokes, and just go over. I like my brows slightly arched like that, or I kind of. Highly arched, I guess. Okay. So that's my shape I've created. And you guys, when you do this, remember, this is some great, this is the advice that I don't know who said this, but this is great advice. Remember your brows are sisters, not twins. Do, the, do your best to get them as close as you can and keep it moving. Do not, you know, cause you can, I could be here all day messing with these brows cause it's kind of my thing. So I could be here all day trying to get them just perfect and just right. Make them look good enough. So you don't go out looking crazy and keep it pushing you guys. Cause you know, it's hard to get them perfect every single time it changes. So that's one. Okay. So the next one, I'm going to just do the same thing. Touch up with my pencil, sharpen it a little bit. So I can, I'm able to create that same edge. And my left, my left brow is a little bit thinner than my right brow. So of course it's going to look slightly different, but I'll do my best to get it as close as I can. Okay, you see, go in with the strokes like this and fill it in, fill it in. It's so weird doing this on camera, guys. I've never done this from camera. But these are the things I'm happy to do for you. You guys have asked me about this actually for about a year now and I'm giving the people what they want. So, okay, so here are my brows. So this is like kind of like the basis for my brows. This is pretty much what I do. Um, Create my tail. Okay, so that's the brow. So next I go in with just a Q-tip. Now, why do I use a Q-tip instead of like a makeup brush? Because Q-tip, I believe gives you more control. Because it is a Q-tip, yes, it's gonna soak up a little bit of your product, but that's okay. Um, it gives me that nice, sharp, sort of clean look without being so sharp and so clean because you know how you know some people use the brush and they can make it so sharp and so clean and I can do and I do that occasionally if I want to go out for an evening and I want that bam look but I like this because it gives you that look but only um, softens it a bit that's why I use the q-tip because it softens that look so go in with my 
concealer and you see how I've got it just underneath the brow. See, I don't have a lot of it and it's just underneath the brow. Why? Because control. I don't want a ton. A lot of, I've seen people use a ton of concealer. It's like, why? I just like to use a little bit and just go in and clean it up. Get my shape, get my arch. See that? This is the bottom. And I'm also going to do the top. And the shape of my brows change, guys. Sometimes I have them, you know, a bit thin. And sometimes I do them thicker, depending on my mood. So now I'm going into the top with my Q-tip. And I'm just going to clean it up. You see that? Before, after. Nice and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side now. It's so weird doing this on camera, but I'm, I, I'm happy. It looks like it's going to turn out pretty well. I was worried, like, can I actually make it look as good? But yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Okay, so these are my brows. This is the, pretty much the finished product, as you can see. It turned out pretty well. The last step and the last product I absolutely have to mention because it makes all the difference is clear mascara. This is the Great Lash. Um, clear mascara from Maybelline and when I apply my foundation and everything um, I go in with this and um, sort of set the brows okay guys so the last I just completed my foundation and the last step for my brows is just applying some of this great lash clear mascara you can use whatever clear mascara you like I like great lash cover girl and I've even used uh, wet and wild um, they all work this one works particularly well, so I'm just going to go in and I start kind of like from the middle first and then I work my way forward. See that? Let me move in a little bit closer. There we go. So I'll show you again. I start like kind of in the middle of the brow, work my way back, and then forward. And when the clear mascara sets, these brows will not budge. I can play tennis for two hours. These brows will still be on fleek. So that, that is how I create my brows. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please like, subscribe, and follow me. You guys, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So until next time. Mwah.